Hello everybody. Welcome from HVACR Design Engineering. My name is Tuya Ong. Now, I want to talk about checking refrigerant pressure and temperature using Danfor Refrigerant Slider app. Before using Danfor Refrigerant Slider app, we need to install Ref2 in our mobile phone. Firstly, we open the Play Store. Type Danfor Refrigerant app in search bar. Select Danfor Refrigeration app. Install the Ref2. After install the Ref2, open the Ref2. In to menu, you need to select Refrigerant Slider. Now, we are reaching the Refrigerant Slider app. Before we check in the Refrigerant Pressure and Temperature, we need to choose the unit of measurement in setting. Click the setting for choosing the unit of measurement. After click the setting, you will see pressure unit, temperature unit and distance unit. I want to use pressure unit as pound per square inch PSI, temperature unit as Fahrenheit and distance unit as meter. After choosing the unit of measurement, we need to go back to refrigerant slider. Now we see the pressure unit is showing as pound per square inch absolute PSI A and temperature unit is showing as Fahrenheit. Pound per square inch absolute PSI A is equal to pound per square inch atmosphere PSI ATM plus pound per square inch gauge PSI G. Pound per square inch atmosphere PSI ATM is the pound of force applied per one square inch measure at the atmosphere. Pound per square inch atmosphere PSI ATM is equal to 14.7 pound per square inch PSI. Pound per square inch gauge PSI G is the pound of force applied per one square inch measure with pressure gauge in air conditioning and refrigeration system. I want pressure unit as pound per square inch gauge PSI G. So I click red dot in a solo for changing to gauge. After click the red dot in a solo, refrigerant slider is changing to pound per square inch gauge PSI G. You can check the refrigerant by click the refrigerant list. You can type and search the name of refrigerant that you want to use in search bar. You can also add the name of your favorite refrigerant in the favorite list by click the star icon. Click the favorite for check your favorite refrigerant in favorite list. Now you see your favorite refrigerant in favorite list. Click your favorite refrigerant in the favorite list. Now you see the refrigerant slider corresponding to your favorite refrigerant. You can slide up and down the slider or type the amount of pressure and temperature. In our folder A refrigerant, you will see Jew. We click the red dot in Jew. After click the red dot in Jew, we will see Jew is changing to bubble. Bubble is the point of first change from refrigerant liquid to refrigerant vapor. Ju is the point of first change from refrigerant vapor to refrigerant liquid. In air conditioning system, evaporation temperature of evaporator coil is assumed as 40 degree Fahrenheit. In corresponding with evaporation temperature, Saku refrigerant liquid means the refrigerant liquid condition that is below evaporation temperature. In corresponding with evaporation temperature, superheat refrigerant vapor means the refrigerant vapor condition that is above evaporation temperature. Saku refrigerant liquid is entered into the inlet of the evaporator coil. Saku refrigerant liquid is flowing into the evaporator coil for absorb the heat from the room. After Saku refrigerant liquid is absorbing the heat from room, the air surrounding the evaporator coil is becoming cool air and 
this go air is blowing into the room by evaporator fan. Inside the evaporator coil, Saku refrigerant liquid is changing into refrigerant vapor by absorbing the heat from the room. At the outlet of the evaporator coil, the refrigerant vapor is changing into superheat refrigerant vapor by absorbing the additional heat. Evaporation temperature is equal to temperature of blowing air into the evaporator coil minus temperature of heat absorbed from Saku refrigerant liquid by the evaporator coil. Temperature of blowing air into the evaporator coil is take as temperature of the room because evaporator coil is inside the room. We don't need to calculate evaporation temperature because we already assume evaporation temperature as 40 degree Fahrenheit. Compressor is suction the superheat refrigerant vapor from the evaporator coil and push into the condenser coil for reject the heat from the superheat refrigerant vapor. In air conditioning system, temperature of heat rejection from superheat refrigerant vapor in condenser coil is assumed as 30 degree Fahrenheit. Outdoor unit is located outside the room for hot air blowing outside the room. Condensing temperature is equal to temperature of blowing air into the condenser coil plus temperature of heat reject from superheat refrigerant vapor by the condenser coil. Temperature of blowing air into the condenser coil is taken as temperature of ambient air because condenser coil is located outside the room. In this example, we assume temperature of ambient air as 90 degree Fahrenheit. So, our calculated condensing temperature is equal to 110 degree Fahrenheit. In corresponding with condensing temperature, Saku refrigerant liquid means the refrigerant liquid condition that is below condensing temperature. In corresponding with condensing temperature, superheat refrigerant vapor means the refrigerant vapor condition that is above condensing temperature. After superheat refrigerant vapor is rejected heat in condenser coil, the air surrounding the condenser coil is changing into hot air and this hot air is blowing outside the room by condenser fan. Inside the condenser coil, the superheat refrigerant vapor is changing into refrigerant liquid by rejecting the heat from the superheat refrigerant vapor. At the outlet of the condenser coil, refrigerant liquid is changing into Saku refrigerant liquid by rejecting the additional heat. This Saku refrigerant liquid is flowing into the evaporator coil again for absorbing the heat from the room. In air conditioning system, Suction pressure is assumed as evaporation pressure. Suction pressure is measured with low pressure gauge at the suction survey bar. Compressor is suction the superheat refrigerant vapor and discharge this superheat refrigerant vapor into the condenser coil for changing to Saku refrigerant liquid. Due to changing process of superheat refrigerant vapor into Saku refrigerant liquid in condenser coil, we must use due for finding evaporation pressure in Danford refrigerant slider app. In other means, due is used for finding pressure and temperature of superheat refrigerant vapor. I want you to remember two things about due. Due is used for finding suction pressure in air conditioning system. Due is used for finding pressure and temperature of superheat refrigerant vapor. In air conditioning system, Discharge pressure is assumed as condensing pressure. Discharge pressure is measured with high pressure gauge at the discharge survey bar. Saku refrigerant liquid is entered into the evaporator coil for changing the Saku refrigerant liquid into superheat refrigerant vapor. Due to changing process of Saku refrigerant liquid into superheat refrigerant vapor in evaporator coil, we must use bubble for finding condensing pressure in Danford refrigerant slider app. In other means, bubble is used for finding pressure and temperature of Saku refrigerant liquid. I want you to remember two things about bubble. 
Bubble is used for finding disturb pressure in air conditioning system. Bubble is used for finding pressure and temperature of saku refrigerant liquid. Temperature glide means the temperature different between Joule and Bubble. Temperature glide is equal to temperature of Joule minus temperature of Bubble. For example, a photon A refrigerant have slightly temperature glide and a 22 refrigerant don't have temperature glide. A photon A refrigerant in the for refrigerant slider app, we choose Joule for superheat refrigerant vapor. We choose gauge for measure pressure in air conditioning system and we choose 40 degree Fahrenheit for a shown evaporation temperature. Now you see the evaporation pressure of 118.4 pound per square in gauge PSIG for R4 than A refrigerant. As I said before, evaporation pressure is assumed as suction pressure. So, suction pressure for R4 than A refrigerant is also 118.4 pound per square in gauge PSIG. For air conditioning system using R4 than A refrigerant, the suction pressure of 118.4 pound per square in gauge PSIG must be maintained for running condition. When we choose pepper in R4 than A refrigerant for Saku refrigerant liquid, evaporation pressure is not changing, but evaporation temperature is changing from 40 degree Fahrenheit to 39.83 degree Fahrenheit. It's showing that a photon A refrigerant has slightly temperature glide in evaporator I want you to remember in air conditioning system using a photon A refrigerant, the suction pressure of 118.4 pound per square in gate PSIG must be maintained for running condition. A photon A refrigerant in Danford refrigerant slider app, we choose bubble for Saku refrigerant liquid. We choose gauge for measure pressure in air conditioning system and we choose 110 degree Fahrenheit for calculated condensing temperature. Now you see the condensing pressure of 36.5 pound per square in gate PSIG for R4 A refrigerant. As I said before, condensing pressure is shown as discharge pressure. So discharge pressure for R4 A refrigerant is also 36.5 pound per square in gauge PSIG. For air conditioning system using R4 A refrigerant, the discharge pressure of 36.5 pound per square in gauge PSIG must be maintained for running condition. When we choose to in R4 A refrigerant for superheat refrigerant vapor, the condensing pressure is not changing, but condensing temperature is changing from 110 degree Fahrenheit to 110.2 degree Fahrenheit. It's showing that a photon A refrigerant have slightly temperature glide in condenser quiet. I want you to remember in air conditioning system using a photon A refrigerant. The discharge pressure of 36.5 pound per square in gate PSIG must be maintained for running condition. A 22 refrigerant in Danford refrigerant slider app we choose to for superheat refrigerant vapor. We choose gauge for measure pressure in air conditioning system and we choose 40 degree Fahrenheit for assured evaporation temperature. Now you see the evaporation pressure of 68.56 pound per square in gauge PSIG for R22 refrigerant. As I said before, Evaporation pressure is shown as suction pressure. So, suction pressure for R22 refrigerant is also 68.56 pound per square in gate PSIG. For air conditioning system using R22 refrigerant, suction pressure of 68.56 pound per square in gate PSIG is maintained for running condition. In R22 refrigerant, we cannot choose pepper for Saku refrigerant liquid because R22 refrigerant don't have temperature glide and evaporation temperature is remain constant. It means that in R22 refrigerant, we can also use Joule for Saku refrigerant liquid. I want you to remember in air conditioning system using R22 refrigerant, the suction pressure of 68.56 pound per square in gate PSIG 
must be maintained for running condition. R22 refrigerator in time for refrigerant slider app. We can choose juice for Saku refrigerant liquid. We choose gauge for pressure pressure in air conditioning system. And we choose 110 degree Fahrenheit for calculated condensing temperature. Now you see the condensing pressure of 226.4 pound per square in gauge PSIG for R22 refrigerant. As I said before, condensing pressure is shown as discharge pressure. So discharge pressure of R22 refrigerant is also 226.4 pound per square in gauge PSIG. For air conditioning system using R22 refrigerant, the discharge pressure of 226.4 pound per square in gauge PSIG must be maintained for running condition. When we choose Ju in R22 refrigerant for superheat refrigerant vapor, condensing pressure and condensing temperature are not changing because R22 refrigerant don't have temperature glide. I want you to remember in air conditioning system using R22 refrigerant, the discharge pressure of 226.4 pound per square in K PSIG must be maintained for running condition. In refrigerant don't have temperature glide, Ju is used for evaporation temperature and condensing temperature. In refrigerant don't have temperature glide, Ju is used for evaporation pressure and condensing pressure. In refrigerant don't have temperature glide, Ju is used for superheat refrigerant vapor and Saku refrigerant liquid. Thank you very much for watching my video.